Rain is what played a part in the state's largest county, seeing a record number of West Nile cases this past year. ABC 15's Nicole Grigg learning some changes are being made to keep you safe. This as we are already starting to see mosquitoes this year. ABC 15 getting the chance to go inside the county's lab as mosquitoes being counted weekly. So far, no human cases of West Nile virus this year. Last year was just one of those uh, almost a perfect storm. That's the best way for those tracking mosquitoes in the county to describe last season. The Maricopa County Health Department saw a record number of West Nile cases in humans last year. In 2021, there were more than 1,400 cases. In 2020, three total. 2019, 155 cases. The previous record was in 2004 with 355 cases. Along with a record number of human cases. There was a record number of deaths. Maricopa County Health reporting 101 people died last year of West Nile virus. And one of the county's medical epidemiologists says those record cases are just what we know of, as some likely didn't even know that they had West Nile. We know that about 80% of cases are asymptomatic or mild disease. Those people are probably never tested for West Nile virus, and so they don't get reported to public health. After last year's busy mosquito season, the county's Environmental Services Department is expanding their tracking and surveillance of mosquitoes, adding more traps to growing parts of the county. After everything was over last year, that's what we looked at this year and said, well, we need to add traps in these these areas so that we have a weekly surveillance. And the county plans to have fogging contracts on standby. In case there's another busy season, they'll be able to get more companies into areas that need to be fogged. In Phoenix, Nicole Grigg, ABC 15, Arizona.